all the way live from deepest, darkest eastern Kentucky. In particular, Prestonsburg. It's the MWO Podcast on Patreon. Hosted by the creepy Kentuckian and the old man that doesn't care to tell you to sh- SHUT UP! It's Captain B. Plan. Take it away, bulls. Howdy, folks, and welcome. It's the November 30th edition of the MWO Podcast here on Patreon. I am the Creepy Kentucky. I'm the guy who says shut up a lot. There's a brand new trailer that just came out, Steve, mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. I'm actually like kind of intrigued by because I did enjoy the original movie. It's a remake of the Bob Hoskins, John Leguizamo classic Ooh. from 1993. It's Whoa. the Super Mario Brothers movie. You excited about that? No, not not at all. You're not. Are you not a Super Mario Brothers fan? Or I thought everybody loved Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> nah, I didn't. Not enough to watch a movie about it. <laughs> really? You didn't like yeah. Super Mario? I mean, you're not down with with the Super Mario Odyssey, the new the newer game. <laughs> no, I wasn't much of a Nintendo guy. I got Nintendo sixty four to play Goldeneye. And that was about it. That was the. I think that and Killer Instinct were the only games I had on there. What about the regular Nintendo? You, everybody had a fucking regular Nintendo. I did, right? but it was probably like eighty nine or something when I came back, and my mom got it at a yard sale for like twenty bucks, and you had to blow on it to keep it from pixelating. Well, you and you like to blow, so it's all good. I was full of hot air back then, so this is the brand new Super Mario Brothers movie. I think they released a teaser trailer for it a few months ago. And this is the final trailer. I think it comes out next spring. Mm. And are you ready? We'll take a look at it. It's a me, Mario. It's animated? It is. Uh, I was expecting some guy, fat guys. So you've got Donkey Kong here. Fuck yeah. Oh shit. This actually oh. looks kind of. Yeah. Okay. Looks kind of like a video game. Yeah, well, yeah. You know kind of interesting. But I'm about to this is the best way to do it. Wow. Uh, yay. But I think so too. I saw a brief clip of this. I was just kidding about the. Yeah. It was almost thing. Although it would have been cool if they got him to do the voice. Yeah, I'm kind of like. I don't know if I'm excited about it, but I'm definitely interested because they've never done anything like this before. And they got, got Peach and Toad. And they are kind of adorable, aren't they, Steve? Uh... There's one of those species. Yo. There's a huge universe out there. A lot yeah, of Sarah guys. would absolutely love this shit. Yoshi is in it too. Oh We're shit. On us. It's a Mario. No pressure. Think there a Wario? Wario, he could be in. Maybe he'll be in the same. Yeah. Awesome hey, they're doing. Alfred. They're doing the, they're doing the carts. Yeah, the Mario Kart thing. Wow. I think out of the two when we watched, or uh, I think this one's gonna make the most money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could almost like from almost the first <laughs> thirty seconds, you're like, God damn, this is gonna fucking make a fortune. And I won't watch it, of, but some kids will, and you. Kid, though, I mean, the thing is, it's like Nintendo anyway, so you want to have younger kids, and then you're going to have people our age yeah. that are nostalgic for Mario. Yeah. 
many different generations. So this thing is going to make Nintendo a fucking ton of money. Yeah. I mean, uh, no I was expecting live action. I was got like, oh, shit. But then uh, definitely that's the animation is the best way to, to get that, uh, you know, to use that property. Yeah, and it looks like the same technology that they're yeah. using for the video games. Uh, pretty much. Definitely I looks mean, just look like it. Maybe upscaled a little bit. But mm -hmm. yeah, we can look forward to that. I think it comes out in April. And uh, Nintendo, it could, you know, save Nintendo. Although I don't know if they need saving. I think they're doing okay anyway. But mm -hmm. it'll definitely maybe start a new trend. You could have a Donkey Kong animated movie. Mm -hmm. uh you know, Mario Kart movie, a Zelda movie. There's lots of different characters they could use for that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do I want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on no, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to touch nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you dare yeah. touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. Hey, everyone. It's Oak Early Jaws. Since spooky season is official, it's time to bring on the turkey, motherfucker. Time to bring on November. And here in the month of November, we got some great shirts for you. We got Faces of Death Part 2. We got creepy stories to tell in Kentucky. The Colonel would approve. We also got DeadPit.com. We got DeadPit Radio with the little fucking DeadPit dude on there. We got It Never Ends, a Halloween spoof parody of the new movie. We got It at Night. We got The Rat Pack, Uncle Rat himself. It just gets better and better. So go on and get you some shirts over at Team Public. It just gets better and better, boss. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears started only one dollar.